What's up guys? So I didn't want to bore you with putting all the wires together on this battery charger. So basically I've got two 15 foot extensions that I'm gonna run to these batteries and slap them back in there. But before I do all of that, I wanna make sure that the wires are hooked up properly and uh, are gonna charge the way they're supposed to. So give me a second and I'll be right back. All right, so the good news is they are both charging, which is super cool. Both of these um, yellowish orange lights came on to say that they were charging. So I'm gonna run these wires back through to the back of the console and uh, get that rocket. Super excited to get this done. Just when you think you're ready to get going, this uh, clamp has not wanted to stay on. So we're just gonna fix that with a quickness because I wanna get this done. I have stuff that I have to do today. So, we're just going to slide some shrink wrap over this. See that? Slide some shrink wrap over it, torch it, and uh, should be good to go. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, all shrink wrapped ready to be put back on quick fix once it's still kind of warm you can shape it with your fingers and get it even closer so all right so we got the negative to the positive negative for the trolling motor that's good now we have our lead for our battery charger. So we're gonna put this on to make sure I have the right ones. I'm not gonna tighten them down all the way until I'm 100% sure that uh, it's working the way that it's supposed to. So once I get the wires in there and set, then I can go back and secure everything down, zip ties and anchor screws. So I'm gonna get that finished and uh, get this, get this other lead put on and uh, we'll be ready for the next step. Stay tuned guys. All right, so we're just gonna give it one more check and make sure that everything is hooked up right and uh, check the batteries in there. Okay, as you can see, charging, charging. And I'm gonna mount it right up here and it'll be out of the way. Super awesome, guys. I'm hoping that this plate is wide enough to just screw these in and uh, bolt it down so we'll see when we get up in there all right guys so we're getting closer now i gotta put these batteries where they belong this one has to go in the side here i just need to make sure that these leads stay secure and don't get damaged so we're gonna add the jumper wire so hold on a minute I've improvised and I've just got it sitting. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. If it does, I'm gonna have to pick it right back up. All right, so we're gonna get our leads squared away, which these are secure and good. This is the negative to the trolling motor, the uh, negative lead, the positive lead to the battery charger, the jumper wire from the positive to the negative terminal of this battery. And, oh, I need to tighten that down some more. And, uh, Found 
and I'm going to put that other piece of shrink wrap on this positive terminal. All right, guys. So I got the plate off. This is where the uh, some of the pumps are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this charger on the plate, mark the holes, and drill the holes out. That way, I can just put a screw and a bolt, or a nut and a bolt, whatever, in there, uh, and this will be secure. I might have to um, do some washers, some big flat washers, and. Uh, get everything lined up but it's it's working out great so I just need to mark the holes and get it drilled out and get it mounted super awesome all right so here's what I got to do I got the plate off from right there and I'm gonna mark where each of these holes are and I'm gonna get some washers and I'm going to drill the holes where those holes are that I've marked. I'm going to drill where the marks are. Make sure that it's straight and flush, but I need to be able to get the screw. I need to be able to get the screws in there first, so I may have to put the plate back on first and then mount the charger. So these holes right here, I know it's blurry, but I apologize. Those holes right there can... Uh, be good to go cool so I got the plates marked one two three four holes that I need to drill on this plate and then I can get it put back in and get that charger mounted let's do it all right guys so I thought I had everything that I needed but after I got the holes drilled in the plate uh, I realized that I didn't have any I didn't have any bolts or washers uh, or nuts so I have to run to Lowe's to grab some of those and then after that it's just a matter of zip tying the cables together and mounting the plate and the charger um, I'm so glad that I was able to figure out a solution um, to figure out where to put this battery charger because I don't want to have to wonder if my batteries are charged and even when I had it in there I couldn't even stick my camera phone in there to take a picture just to see if it was charged up enough. But this way, all I have to do is look up under the console and I can see that they're fully charged or that they're in maintenance mode. And I'm, I'm really, really excited to get this done and it's gonna save a lot of hassle. Uh, whenever I get home and get the boat off the water, I can just plug it in, it charges them, and then it does an automatic shutdown to maintenance mode and it just keeps the batteries so they don't go bad. So I'm looking forward to getting this done. Let's go. All right guys, so we stopped at Lowe's. I got some quarter inch by inch bolts with some big washers and lock washers and wing nuts. I'm gonna have to bolt it to where the wing nuts are on the outside uh, because I need to be able to get to it. But the way that the plate goes on, if I screw the plate on first, then I have no access to the backside of those screws. So I'm gonna have to use the washers and the lock washers as the wrench to keep them tight and if they get loose and I'm driving, I'll be right there and I can just tighten them back up. So we're going to get the plate on there with the bolts connected and then we're going to get that done and we'll be ready to go. Super stoked. All right, guys. So we got our plate ready. Now I'm going to get, I've got these in the bottom here. And I'm also going to do the, do the top ones so I can get this finished. So I picked up these quarter inch bolts at Lowe's. It's a quarter inch bolt and a flat washer and a lock washer to uh, 
not only keep the onboard battery charger close to the panel, but also to uh, use that lock washer and keep it keep it locked in place. So I got one more to do. Now I'm sure that there's there's other ways to do this, but and I'm sure that I might uh, come up with a better solution as time goes by, but it's going to be awesome fishing this week, so I want to be able to get out there on the lake, and I think, I think we're going to take the boat over to Lake L and uh, get out there and do some fishing and see if we can't get some fish in the in the boat all right so i got my plate started now i'm going to put the plate back on i'm going to put these Just get them get them started and get that get that plate in a position the sooner I get this done the sooner I can get this over to the lake and uh, have it ready to go for tomorrow looking forward to it Two more to go, and then I can put the uh, battery charger in its spot. I can find the On the hole that it goes into, I think that's it. It's kind of off center, but I guess we'll find out. It looks secure. All right, now I'm gonna grab the behemoth. I need to get the I need to get the bottom in first get that tightened down now once I get the bottom tightened down then I can take the other ones and uh, take them off and then tighten them up oh you know what I forgot a screw Just noticed. There we go. All right, now let's loosen that up. Loosen that up. And I'm going to. Well, they seem pretty secure. Looks like I can take those top ones off without the bolts falling out. That's my that's my hope, at least. Get the get the bottom ones secured. If not, I'm gonna have to take it all apart, and pick those out, and start over again. So I'd rather not have to do that. So.
if I can at least get one started, is that where it needs to go? It sure feels like it. All right. Get it at least held into place. Then, I can put this one on. washer the lock washer and the wing nut They do not want to stay on. Oh. I'll put it down at an angle. All right. I need you to cooperate with me here. There's no room. Sometimes being big has its disadvantages. I'll tell you that right now. All right. All right, that one's good. Right now, I need to... I think that one's good. It's just trying to get this one. All right, now I got that secured into place. Now I can get these on. Tighten them up. Oh. Success is sweet, my friends. It really is. All right, now that I can tighten those up. I can get this washer off the floor. All right, there's one. There's two. Awesome. That's awesome, guys. Now, I can pull those wires forward, and here is my battery lead.
Alright guys, the last thing that I needed to do is mount this. This is actually for the plug-in and I'm going to mount it up underneath and uh, I will take a picture and show you what it looks like when I'm done. It's just four screws and I'm going to screw it into underneath the console somewhere where it's up and out of the way so I don't kick it while I'm driving the boat. Let's get it done. Well guys, it looks like I had enough on my battery to show you the finished product. There's the plug-in. And here is the digital battery charger all up. I got the wires up there in the console, up and out of the way. And I got to zip tie this wire. Other than that, we just got to get the front of it secured to the boat. And we are good to go. Project finished. Super awesome.